Should you grind lead code or build projects? The age old question. The short answer is that you should do both, but how do you actually balance them? I was able to get into companies like Amazon and Google before I even graduated. And here's my recommendation. Do as little lead code as you can get away with, but build as many projects as you realistically can. Of course, given the constraints of school, work, and your other commitments. You probably know that grinding lead code, as irrelevant as it may feel sometimes, is essential for a career in tech. And that's true whether you're interested in software engineering, AI, or, or some combination of the two. LeetCode is a core component of interviews in tech, and sadly, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. That's why I recommend doing just enough LeetCode, but building more than enough projects. Projects are your proof, and building a portfolio is the only way to stand out in today's market. So the question becomes, how do you do as little LeetCode as possible, but still pass interviews? If you only remember one thing from this video, remember this. Do the bare minimum, but do it smart. Pick a small curated list like the blind 75. Then solve problems in random order. Why random? Because in a real interview, you won't be told the type of problem in advance. You'll have to figure that out yourself fast. And here's where most people go wrong. They follow the pattern strategy, doing 10 binary search questions, then 10 sliding window questions, then 10 DP questions. Sounds logical until you're in the interview and there's no one telling you the pattern. And now you're stuck because you've been training with hints instead of preparing for the real thing. That's why random practice works better. You're constantly training the exact skill you need in the interview. I could go deeper into why this works, but that's a conversation for another time. Right now, let's talk about what actually moves your career forward. LeetCode gets you through the door, but projects get you the offer. And here's why projects are the real differentiator. First, projects prove real skills. I mean, anyone can memorize two sum, but projects show that you can build something from scratch. Two, projects are inherently unique. No two Chad tier projects look the same. And that uniqueness is instant differentiation. And third, projects give you stories. And stories are what make you memorable. I solved LeetCode 347. Is completely forgettable to your interviewer. I built a model that cloned my voice in two weeks. I mean, that sticks in the interviewer's head. One of my students built a voice cloning model in just two weeks. He posted a demo online, and within days, recruiters were DMing him. Another student implemented a transformer from scratch, the model from Google that powers ChatGPT. Not only did it help him understand LLMs, but it became the centerpiece of his resume. When a hiring manager sees that kind of project, they're not thinking about whether you can solve threesome. They're thinking, this person can solve real problems with AI. Okay, but what projects should you actually build? There is one project that stands out more than 99% of the generic tutorials on YouTube. Reading an AI research paper and implementing the concepts in Python. One of the most famous papers of the last 5 to 10 years, which you might have already heard about, is Attention is All You Need. This paper was written by Google in 2017 and it introduced the model that powers modern day LLMs like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. I. I actually think that every AI enthusiast has got to read this paper and code it up at some point. But reading papers is tricky and requires understanding a ton of foundational concepts first. But that's exactly why you should spend most of your time reading papers and building projects. Grinding leak code, on the other hand, has diminishing returns. You might get marginally better at solving data structure and algorithm questions, but your time is better spent on areas that actually interest you. There is an opportunity cost here, whether it's front end development full stack development or AI, you should eventually transition away from leak code and towards something that actually interests you. And if that's AI, I recommend learning fundamentals like gradient descent before moving on to PyTorch, the number one library for building AI projects. And once you've mastered those fundamentals, you're ready to read papers and build projects. Now, if you're looking for another video to watch, one where I go into even more detail on the fundamental concepts to learn and what projects to even build, check out this video. It's a full guide and it's one of the most valuable videos on the entire channel. See you there.